Top 10 Life Science Booming Sectors of 2030. All right, in this video, we'll discuss top 10 booming life sciences field and domains of 2030. The future is here, guys. So let's get started. The COVID-19 pandemic has changed the way we all live, the way we see things. The world views life science sector in a different way. The coronavirus pandemic, the current outbreak, the second wave has changed it all. It has made us understand the vitality of basic sciences, life sciences. The pandemic brought a huge boom in this field and it will continue to increase 100 times, 100x in the next 10 years. So it is very important, it makes a lot of sense today to talk about this. Let's understand and try to predict the future of life sciences field and try to find the domains of life sciences which will be booming in 2030. That is nine years from now, or 10 years, 2031. So let's get started. Number one, quantum biology and quantum chemistry. All right. so. Quantum computers, have you heard of them? Quantum computers of today have shown promising results in solving biologically relevant problems, like predicting protein ligand interactions or understanding the eco-evolution of amino acids in proteins. It is exponentially faster than any current computer. And in the next 10 years, quantum computing is going to boom. It's going to grow faster than ever. And that means there is, a, there is a huge scope of growth in this field of biology and chemistry. The best part of this field is it is still in its nascent phase. So if you start studying today, listen to this carefully, if you start studying quantum biology, quantum chemistry today, you will be world-renowned scientist in the next 10 years. So this is one of the best fields I can personally recommend you today. The upside is very, very high. It's very, very new. The downside is there is no course. There is no course available yet on quantum biology. So internet is your best friend at this juncture to learn its basics. However, keep an eye. This field is gonna boom. Number two, biomedical engineering okay bioengineering bioengineers biomedical engineering it's also referred as bioengineering right it's a multidisciplinary stem field science technology engineering and mathematics that combines biology with engineering to develop and build computer systems hardware equipments and gadgets for medicines and healthcare and biomedical engineering is going to boom it plays a major role today in designing advanced therapeutics, advanced prosthetics, genomic testing, surgical robots, new pharmaceutical moieties, drugs, kidney dialysis machines, and much more, many more. There are various colleges across the world offering biomedical engineering. That's a good thing. And there are top-notch companies which are recruiting students in this domain. So what we did, we created an article, check out the link given in the description to know more about this bioengineering field. Number three, molecular and cell biology. Now, molecular and cell biology have a great deal to offer to tropical medicine field. And it has helped to understand a lot more about population genetics and dynamics of the infectious and non-infectious uh, abiotic and biotic diseases. This field holds a lot of promise to provide a new generation of diagnostic and therapeutic agents. And it also is playing a major role in developing new vaccines and other approaches to the control of pandemics, diseases. And that's what it makes it very important. In fact, in the short period of time of last 10 years, it has evolved a lot 
A great deal has been discovered in last 10 years in human pathology at the molecular level. Now, many monogenic diseases have been characterized in last several years. In fact, a lot has been learned about the cancer's molecular and cell biological aspects. And that means a start has already been made in defining the different genes that comprise the complete inter interactions between nature and nurture that underlie behind many major killer diseases. And that means this sector is going to grow. So if you wish to make a career in cell and molecular biology, I would suggest you have a lot to study. So check out the link given in the description. We have included the names of colleges and universities plus all the companies working in this area. Of course, you want a job, get a job in this field, booming sector. Number four, virology. Yes. Now this is a no brainer. Virology is going to boom 100x. Not only because of the coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic, but due to the awareness, due to the fact that viruses mutate, they create havoc. Of course, you're seeing havoc right now, second wave of the pandemic, right? All the governments across the globe are going to put in a lot of research dollars in this field. Viruses can also be a potential bioterrorism weapon of the future. Of course, Al-Qaeda has not found it yet, but maybe. That is why the demand of virologists will be always there. It will help governments to mitigate viral emergencies. And that means it will go up in the next 10 years. So at Biotechnica, we already have taken steps to help and build a strong career for future virologists by providing online certifications on virology and COVID-19 and vaccines. And if you're interested, check out the link given in the description. Remember, this field is definitely growing. I can bet my money on this. Number five, vaccine biology. Okay, new word. So it's, if there are viruses, there are going to be vaccines. It's like a chicken and egg game, right? Both are going to coexist. New viruses, new pandemics, new epidemics. They're going to break out. The whole world will turn around and look at you if you are the world-class vaccine biologist. We have included an excellent link in the description which will give you more light on what is vaccine biology, how can you pursue your career in it, and its future scope, and where can you further study about vaccine biology and whatnot. You know what is Biotechnica, full of knowledge. Go ahead, check that out. Number six, artificial intelligence in biology. Okay, now AI in biology is already being used in drug discovery, molecular moiety designing, and much more. But what will accelerate its growth is quantum computing. The growing capacities of today's computers, and of course, above all, the development of more learning models in AI and machine learning. Now remember, this is an interdisciplinary domain, okay? And the demand of AI is going to go up in future. And what you need today is to get started and to help you that, if you have a course that teaches you the basics of AI and then the basics of AI in biology, and we have included all this in the link given in the description. Don't forget to check it out. Number seven, bioinformatics. Okay, so bioinformatics, we know it, which is where computers, softwares, databases, meet biological challenges. Now, a domain that is always used to answer biological questions using computational tools. Now, its application is universal. It, include, it is included in identifying genes, protein functions, gene functions, learning evolutionary relationships, and anticipating the or analyzing the 3D structures of proteins, and now with the advent of genomics and proteomics, these two vital uh, large-scale activities are also utilizing bioinformatics. So there are going to be a lot of uh, boom and scope and there are excellent resources and courses related to bioinformatics today in this world. And that means 
you have a lot of learning to do, check out the link in the description and find out what bioinformatics has to offer to you. Number eight, epidemiology. Okay. Now, until 2019 November, epidemiology was a not so attractive field for biologists. But its significance was reiterated during the COVID-19 pandemic. Epidemiologists study how diseases occur to various groups of people. And why do they occur? All this data about disease is then used to plan and develop, develop a standard operating procedure. Now, that are used to eradicate or control infectious diseases such as coronavirus, such as Ebola. Right? So this is an exciting field and various colleges and universities are teaching this already. That's a good news. You can specialize in this. And if you want to find them out, if you want to apply, then you know the procedure. Go in the link, check out the description. Epidemiology is also a very good field. Number nine, pharmacology. Okay. Now, this is an evergreen field. It's my personal favorite. Now, why do I say that? Because it, it has always been there and it is always going to be there. It will always keep growing for the next 100 years. I can bet on that. Now, it is a study of drugs and their effects on living systems like us. Now, how drugs work inside our body, that's what pharmacology is. This is responsible for antibiotics, painkiller, caffeine drinks, how it is interacting with our body. It is a science of what is happening to our body and what is happening to the drug inside our body. Now, there are various types of pharmacology, like clinical pharmacology, neuropharmacology, veterinary pharmacology, psychopharmacology, cardiovascular pharmacology. There are a lot of fields, multi subspecializations inside pharmacology. In fact, I feel I cannot speak enough about its importance right now because it will itself take eight hours. And that is why our team took effort, compiled a list of career options, courses available in pharmacology, and all these details are given in the description. Biotechnica is the place to go. So check it out and we'll move to now number 10. Medical Laboratory Technology, MLT. Now, MLT is a branch of science that handles diagnostics, diagnosis of treat and treatment and prevention of disease utilizing clinical laboratory practices. Okay, laboratory test entailing analysis of body fluids, right? So this profession of MLT or medical laboratory technology or medical laboratory technician is highly valuable in the medical care sector. Now, anywhere you go, you need to get diagnostics done. Now, this study will always remain in high demand. New diseases will keep emerging and the healthcare sector will keep looking back at medical laboratory technician who will be at the forefront to analyze, detect and help fight diseases. So, what are you waiting for? We have given you the top 10 booming sectors of 2030, the future, right in front of you in this video. So, go ahead, do your own research with the links given in the description, match it with your persona, your career goals, your interests, and very importantly, decide what kind of career you want to design for yourself of tomorrow. And then go jump in. Remember a small pebble which you will throw today in the vast ocean of life sciences will come back to you like a tsunami of career opportunities in the future. So all the best. Don't forget to ask us any questions which you might have in the comment section. Bye-bye for now, and I'll see you in our next video. Thank you.